Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example again will require us to factor one of the denominators. Matter of fact, x squared minus 25. It's a product that's a difference of squares. We're going to first factor it out to see what our lowest common denominator needs to be. So let's rewrite this. This is equal to 1 over x plus 5 divided by 12 divided by, here we write this as x plus 5 times x minus 5. And then we have plus 2 divided by x minus 5. All right, so now when we look at all the denominators, it becomes quite obvious what the lowest common denominator should be. It looks like it's going to be the product of x plus 5 times x minus 5. So let's write that down. The LCD is equal to x plus 5 times x minus 5. So now we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by that lowest common denominator. So here we multiply this times x plus 5 times x minus 5. And the same over here. We multiply this times x plus 5 times x minus 5. And when we do that, we get the following. Notice in the numerator, the x plus 5s cancel out, and we have 1 times x minus 5. We don't need to write the 1, but I just put it there for reference, so you can see that we multiply what's remaining after we cancel out the x plus 5s. Here, on this fraction, both x plus 5, x minus 5 cancels out, and we're left with simply a 12. Plus, here, only the x minus 5 cancels out, and we're left with plus 2 times x plus 5. Now all we have to do is multiply things out and collect common terms. So this is in the numerator x minus 5 divided by 12 plus 2x plus 10, which can be simplified to x minus 5 divided by 2x plus 22. At this point we could factor out a 2, so this can be written as x minus 5 divided by 2 times x plus 11. It doesn't really matter. You can leave it as this or like that. And that's the final simplified version of that complicated or complex fraction.